Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I'm basically going to be showing you some random cosmetics and other things that I have picked up from Boots recently. I have done a bit of a haul, probably shouldn't have done, but I just kind of fancied getting some new bits and pieces and I just thought I would show you what I got. Um, secondly, I'd like to apologise for the lack of <laughs> like normal videos on my channel lately. I've kind of been doing obviously more vlog types um, just because my I don't know where the time has gone and my weeks have kind of been quite busy like catching up with people going out again um so I've just not had a chance to sit down and do like a proper video um but I really want to get back into it again because I generally like really enjoy doing it so if you guys have any ideas for videos you want to see just let me know um also as you would have seen in another vlog I have just moved to a new flat um, so I apologise for the lighting and possible building sounds in the background because they are doing building works outside and the lighting is obviously natural light at the moment but it keeps changing so that's great so I'm trying to currently find out the best places to film but anyway without further ado I'm just going to get to the video before I get to the makeup bits I just thought I would show you some of the other things that I got kind of like just for like body care and stuff so I picked up this Nivea like moisturiser firming lotion it's got Q10 in and vitamin C which is obviously meant to be good for your skin um I kind of needed a new one basically and I didn't know what moisturiser to get but this one was on offer so I thought why not try this and also it, where it's meant to say it helps your skin kind of get firmer I thought at my ripe old age now of 22 I need to start looking after my skin properly and start using this every time after a shower because before I would kind of moisturize just when I'm like fake tanning and stuff and not actually get into the habit of using it like every time after I've showered which I probably should so I thought I would buy this with the kind of mentality that I am going to use it more and it like kind of try and get it as part of my routine after a shower just to kind of help my skin um so hopefully it'll age a little bit better another thing that i got i can't really explain it because i don't really fully understand it was just some body wash um just some femme fresh intimate skincare body wash um i've heard good things about it i kind of saw it in boots and i just thought i'm just gonna give it a go again it's meant to help with something to do with like ph levels again I don't really understand it but I kind of knew that it was good to use so I just picked that up again to kind of help take care of my general self and skin I picked up this Carmex lip balm because lately my lip balm hasn't been like working I've been using like Vaseline and Nivea and like my lips have still been really dry so I went and got this I've never tried it before and honestly it's helped my lips so much I don't know why Vaseline or Nivea wasn't working but for some reason this has really helped it also has SPF 15 in which is really good because where it's sunny you kind of obviously you can't put normal sun cream on your lips but you kind of forget that your lips can burn because it's technically like still skin so that's always good and yeah it's really really helped like clear my dry lips up which is great so when I went into boots I was definitely on the lookout for a new everyday moisturizer because mine had run out and I was just using my nighttime one but because it was a nighttime one obviously it didn't have SPF in so I really wanted to get one that had an SPF so I picked up this simple what's it called simple triple protect moisturizer SPF 30 with blue light and pollution protect so i thought this was on sale again i think it was three pound fifty which was really good i think it was on like a deal um it says protect and glow for me personally my skin's quite dry so underneath makeup and for daily moisturizers i really like it to be a little bit glowy um and kind of give myself a really dewy base like before putting makeup on so i thought i would give this a go it also has no perfume in no alcohol and no mineral oils which obviously that's really great i kind of now look for moisturizers and makeup not makeup products i mean like cleansers and stuff that don't have fragrance in because you're not meant to be using it on your skin and i'm logically it makes sense but i don't know why for so many years I've been using fragrance on my skin and thinking it was fine um but yeah I have been using this for a few days now I really like it luckily my skin hasn't reacted to it which is great and that's always what I'm scared of trying new 
kind of skin products that it's going to break my skin out but luckily this hasn't and I've been using it yeah every day under my makeup and it's great because it's got the SPF in um yeah I've really been loving this it's very lightweight doesn't feel greasy and another thing it doesn't feel thick or heavy I know that's not a really nice feeling when you're then going to put loads of makeup on your skin as well so yeah really light kind of everyday moisturizer really been loving it and I think I would recommend it um, for anyone who is looking for a similar kind of moisturiser. So another thing that I specifically went into Boots looking for was the Ordinary Serum Foundation. So I've been wanting to try this for ages but only recently it has come to the Boots where I am and I didn't really want to buy it on, I know you can get it on like Beauty Bay and I think maybe ASOS, but then you end up having to pay like delivery charge and stuff like that. But the whole great thing about this foundation is it's I think £5.70 so that's so cheap for foundation so yeah I picked this up in boots I got the shade 1.2 YG and it says light yellow undertones with gold highlights I really like that it kind of describes what the tones are like in the foundation especially where you now can't try samples in store like on your hands and stuff because of obviously Covid they've taken them away and um, so it kind of helps you pick and like decide which one I think it was just really helpful and I've not really seen that in any other foundation um I've been using this really been loving it so lightweight and easy to wear um I will do a video of this like me try trying it and showing you I've actually got it on my skin at the moment and yeah been really enjoying this again if you're someone who likes a lightweight a lightweight foundation every day then I think you would really like this um I know there's been mixed reviews about it but for me I've yeah really been enjoying it um it's not really a glowy foundation I would say it's it's more on the matte side but definitely not drying and like I said my skin is more dry than it is oily and I've not like found any problem with it so yeah I've been really liking using this. So another thing that I really needed when I went into Boots was a new concealer and I always struggle with concealers because sometimes I find them far too thick um, and far too like drying on my under eyes and then the powder sticks to it and just looks really clumpy and it always breaks up and it's it's just not good so um i got this fast base concealer by revolution this is the shade c3 it's got a little like kind of i don't know like pad so you kind of dip it under your eyes like that and then you wind this to get more of the product through again i've really been enjoying this it's very light um which i like again um it's not too thick which is great and it's been working fine with my powders it's not been like going dry under my eyes anything like that um yeah and it spreads out really nice with my brush so really recommend this as well all in all this is a pretty good boots haul i have liked everything i've got which is great because sometimes when you're spending money on makeup and you definitely you can't try everything it's so disappointing when you get them home and you don't like them but so far so good another really basic thing was just this collection like clear mascara now i don't actually use this as mascara i use it as eyebrow gel because it's 199 and it does the job and i don't really see the point of spending like five to ten pounds on an eyebrow gel when a 199 clear mascara does the exact same thing i've been using this for quite a while now and i just needed to pick up a new one um so if you're looking for something that will stick down your brows but at the same time is not going to break the bank definitely recommend recommend this because really it's not any different to a normal brow gel so the last and final thing that i got and i've also got this on my lips at the moment is the nyx lingerie xxl so i believe that these are kind of better versions of the original uh nyx lingerie lipsticks correct me if I ro i'm wrong i'm not sure and i got the shade undressed um i think i did have the original undressed in the lipstick lingeries but i don't know what happened to it i think i lost it potentially um but it's a really lovely shade and um, personally when I'm wearing like a kind of nude colour, I go for more of a pink tone. So I don't know if you can see, it's more on the pink tone side, but I really like it. They've changed the applicator slightly into like a pointed shape, which I think is really great. It's so easy to apply. And I don't know, like the way that it is, you can wipe off loads of the product. So 
you don't layer end up like layering loads on your lips and it goes all like horrible and drying i find this one lasts really well on my lips again like i said doesn't get too drying at all i think maybe they've changed the formula slightly because i feel like these are more comfortable than the originals um they do don't have as many colors i don't think as the original um lingerie lipsticks but i yeah i really like it because i think the formula has changed and for someone who has been getting used to wearing gloss all the time instead of matte lipsticks this is a really nice change and i'm very happy with the color <laughs> guys that is it for my little mini boots haul i know it was kind of really small didn't know if it was worth showing you guys or not but i feel like some of the things i got like especially the foundation and the moisturizer some other people may be interested in that kind of stuff so i thought i may as well go through my little mini boots haul just just to show you guys and see if it would help any of you if you were thinking of getting those bits but I'm going to leave the video here guys um like I said if you've got any more suggestions or videos you want to see I'd really appreciate it but I will see you in the next one bye